Is that now we're on? Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... So I'm Abraham. Abraham of uh, Trio Crafts and Drugs Limited. We normally do uh, handmade carpets. Uh, I know Dr. Thomas for long. Yeah. It's been a blessing here, giving me a lot of uh, work, a lot of encouragement, a lot of inspiration in his work. Trouble. <laughs> you haven't uh, troubled me. A lot of challenges actually. But uh, it was all a success and I'm happy. We have come to this far. He has made a lot of carpets with us. Uh, our carpets are basically made from wool, sheep wool. And uh, wool comes locally from uh, Nakuru, Kinagop, Molo, those who know Kenya. You know these areas. These are highland areas we get from there. But it needs to be a special quality. Yeah, it is a merino type of wool. We call it we call it that type of wool. Uh, once we get the wool, we process everything here: the washing, the treating, the dyeing, the coloring. When I draw them, I just I, I draw them, and then I look at your um, your color charts there, right? And then and then from these color charts, we have one for red, one for green. Yeah. One for blue and one for yellow. Yes. And there are like 60 colors each, so you have 240 different the shapes, colors. Yes. yes. You have to choose for the shapes. Yes. Okay. And then I and then I just transfer that onto the drawing there, and then select the colors. And these ones. Yes. Then we See? have the f the red the carpet is here. It is like a son. Like yeah. Like the mother. The uh, design, the design is like the mother. The, the yeah, yeah, no, the mother no, you are, you, you, you always do everything correct. The, the question is how I design, you know. Most Your of our designs are here. Yeah, so the customers come in and yeah, they... The customers come in. They're not as complicated as me. They choose yeah, ready-made. Most of these are, are not like your designs. These are, most of them are geometric designs. Yeah. Easy to make. Ah, yes. Yeah. But that's an, many of them stem out of an Ethiopian tradition. Of course, yes. Mm. The, like those types are Ethiopian, practically Ethiopian. I actually bought some carpets in Ethiopia that we have in Stockholm. And then because my children went to the Swedish school, that's just the neighboring. I always drove past and then I wanted to see. Yeah. Let's go out and have a look at the yeah. processing chain. We can leave yeah. them here in the meanwhile. Okay. Here is some, some wool that you have now. Yeah, this is, this is just drying. Uh, after the washing, one, yeah, after the, in fact, after coloring. Oh, okay. Colored. It's a beige color. Okay. Is, this is not a natural color. And here is one so that's we more. Dry, normally, when we dry, we dry it naturally in the yeah. sun. When the weather is not very good, maybe this takes two or three days to dry, and that makes it a little bit difficult for us to meet the exact appointment date. The, the date of collection of, of because you don't yeah. you don't make the coloring until you actually decide to make a carpet so you don't have a you don't have a store of different wool of different no, shades and colors no no because clients choose different shades of colors and as we have seen it in the in the showroom we have a number of shades okay so uh, we, we, we go down there i will show you something. okay Some let's go there are two, two ladies there who are cleaning. So how many people do you have working here? Here we are about uh, 25 in the compound now. Out there there are about uh, 50, some 54 there who are spinning wood uh -huh. supplying us. But this one is, is now ready weaved and it's only yeah, the... She's just trimming it. The trimming, trimming yes. Yes. So shall we start where the carpet start? No, you can. We can. We can follow how the carpet sort of goes through the workshop. So, so uh, once we finish with the coloring and the dyeing and the drying of the, the wool, we come to the workshop here. A workshop, uh, we start with uh, what we call warping process. Yeah. Warping is uh, cotton thread, like this one. 
You set and up the threads. Yeah. Now then, and the threads. This is the cotton holds the carpet. Yes. Together. You can see the cotton, the cotton thread everywhere yes, yes. where the carpet then. Yeah. So that is called the warping stage. And this is what he's setting up here. Yeah, yeah this, this ones we, this ones are for fabrics, table mats. Uh -huh. They start to weave the carpet yes. on top of on top of the cotton. Uh, throughout the way, you cannot see the, the cotton. The wool comes on top and on the back. Yes. As I've told you, it is this half of Heron Hotel. Ah, okay. okay. So it is like a corridor carpet because they, I see that they are all having that uh, red line and then being very thin. Those are the shapes of the, the curtain. Ah, yeah. They told me like that. It is the head of the curtain mm. and the bed cover combination. Mm. So, I should move this. Yeah. 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 And the beating part is uh, what makes the carpet straight and, and very strong impact. So that is one of the famous famous designs we have. Many people like it with yes. different color combination. Yeah, yeah. It comes out very, very right, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yes, yes. This is also one of the African designs. I was here you run. There are, ah. there are several threads going and, at the same yeah, time there. Seems, yeah, yeah, that a seems... A lot of people like it very, yeah. very nice. Yeah, yeah, because she has a lot of parallel threads yeah. she works yeah. with. Yeah. You have done how many of these carpets? Many of them. <laughs> many of them. Yeah. Oh. If they were always perfectly weaved, but sometimes I, I felt I was good at choosing colors in the in the beginning. Mm. Then I had a period when I was not so good. <laughs> yeah. It was too experimental. So, but it... Okay, okay, then we are over. Yeah, thanks a lot, Thank and good luck moving back to Ethiopia. I'll be in touch. We'll be in touch.